Hey guys, I'm here with Christian Sackett, and she is the uh, marketing and developing director, Dire development events director, and events director yeah. for the downtown uh, Missoula Downtown Partnership, and she's here to talk about uh, kind of like an artist call mm -hmm. for the River City Roots Festival. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. So uh, obviously, Roots Fest is the huge celebration of Missoula, and a major part of our community is obviously the arts culture and the alt art scene. So we really want to get artists involved. Um, so you're, you're painters, your potter, potters, their, your photographers. And so we have the art show and we really would love to have local artists come and join us. So we have an application out right now. You can um, visit um, MissoulaDowntown.com, um, go to the Roots Festival page or R River City Roots Festival.com and go to the art show page and you'll be able to apply there. Uh, we'd like to have a nice mix of it of not only your traditional artists, your fine artists like your painters, your photographers, um, sculptors, and stuff like that, but we've decided to kind of move in a direction of um, including individuals who are have been at the maid fairs because we noticed last year we had a few people that were more akin to, to that end of the artist spectrum and it actually went over really well and that is such a huge part of Missoula culture not only the fine art galleries but also people who are just so creative and so talented so we want to include both so we definitely welcome not only fine artists to apply but also artists who might be just making simple jewelry doing yeah. um, upcycled type um, things there's so much um, that people do out there so we would love to have them join us yeah and I uh, and I did notice that you know, a couple of my artist friends that do a couple of these things mm -hmm. all the time they uh, tend to sell a lot more of their smaller knick-knacky yeah. type stuff than they do some of their bigger stuff so like yeah. you know like oh my bench didn't sell but a bunch of my uh, um, holsters did yeah yeah and and we see that a lot and you know people are coming to the festival and hanging out all day so while they might love this painting you know it's five hundred dollars and they're like oh you know i definitely want it but maybe i'll just get their card and work you know work with the artist after the fact because obviously they're there to hang out at roots fest right. and walk around but you know their kid might see a really cute you know doll or something cute and then they can put that in their purse and walk around with yeah. it so so we like having the the both the affordable art for everyday people but then the art that you know people who are looking to add to their collection as right. well. Right. So I, I definitely can see that happening for sure. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a huge thing and it's always nice to like be able to take something away from like like the Roots Festival. Oh, absolutely. I mean like you have those like plastic cups, mm -hmm. you know, you have the two tickets of a beer, right? That's usually how I it, think so. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And um, a lot of times like you see all these knickknacks is like I don't know if I can carry around with this yeah. all the yeah. time. I kind of want to stick around so it's nice to be able to have the option to purchase like smaller yeah, for things. Sure and then be able to just like walk around and still to kind of stick around. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We want it to be a full experience of what Missoula has to offer. So we have the free live music, we have the art show, we do have Roots Fest merchandise, we have the food, which is of course majorly important for any festival. And, and of course the, the adult beverages people enjoy too. So so it's really something for everybody at Roots Fest. And, and so we really want artists um, you know, in the area to come and join us and just really make it a true Missoula experience for people who are visiting and or just the community in general yep so I invited Kristen on here and um, she uh, wanted to talk about this but also there's a whole bunch of other things that the Missoula Downtown Partnership does yeah um, and there's an upcoming event that's also coming up this month which is uh, Missoula Fashion Week yes absolutely you know we love our retailers downtown they are so uh, unique they're really high spirited. They love being in downtown, and they started this. I'm not even sure how many years ago, and we really support them. Um, it's really a way for folks to kind of get shake off the winter blues. Kind of the weather's turning nice. You're thinking about spring clothes. You're thinking about, hey, I haven't been downtown walking around in a while because it's been an awful winter, as we all know. And it's a great way to kind of kickstart, you know, their, their their selling season. So there's a whole list of events going on, and I'm sorry I don't have them with right. me they're and still you, working you, and you were mentioning that the, you, um, some of the shops are going to be open until 9 yeah, p.m. yeah so on April 20th it's going to be a ladies night it's the first uh, ladies night that we've put together and there's a between 15 and 20 different retailers that will be open till 9 p.m. which traditionally a lot of them are closed by you know 6 p.m. this time of year um, so they'll have um, uh, different kinds of discounts they'll have 
drinks and snacks and then every time you purchase something you'll get a little uh, raffle ticket and you fill in your name and you put it in the in a little uh, bin that they'll have at each store and then once the night is over we'll collect all the bins and we'll draw you know draw a couple names I think we'll have a couple of gift baskets so the more you buy the more chances you have to win and you don't have to there's no limit you don't have to spend a minimum of $20 to be able to do it we just are encouraging people to explore our shop see what they have there's so many unique things the shops are just so wonderful you're gonna have a really wonderful experience so make sure you mark on your calendars April 20th ladies night grab your girlfriends and come downtown and really enjoy a fun night shopping during Missoula Fashion Week cool and um, we were also a little bit talking about like you know we were talking about oh are you guys um, looking for bands and all this stuff but yeah. you guys are so on the ball yeah. in the downtown <laughs> partnership that they got everything pretty much covered yeah. for your uh, summer seasons for uh, downtown tonight and um, out to lunch yeah so yeah. you We're have 27 there. bands yeah yeah. Already lined up. Yep, yep. We're yep. working on finalizing the contracts and the schedule. So, and probably in about four weeks, the schedule, full schedule, will be out. Um, but if you're looking to get involved um, with Out to Lunch Downtown tonight, we and your business would love to get involved with the event and support those events and help keep them free for the community. Um, we do have lots of sponsorship opportunities. So, so sorry for bands, but businesses. You know, we would love to. So if a band is interested, get in contact with us next January because we start the process pretty early because it's pretty intensive. So got to stay on top of it. We have a lot going on in our office. So. Yeah. Um, and also we, um, some food vendors as well. We yep. were talking a little bit about that, how you guys are doing somewhat of a new program yep. here. Can you tell us a little bit yeah, more about that? Yeah, so in the past when somebody applied to be a part of Out to Lunch in Downtown Tonight, you had to commit to the whole series, and that's you know anywhere from 13 to 14 weeks, depending on what the calendar does. And for a lot of individuals, that's really hard to difficult and to difficult to commit to 14 weeks in a row. Um, and a lot of times people want to go on vacation, they get pulled to other events or whatever so sometimes we'll end up with holes and so what we're trying this year it's a new pilot program is called a guest vendor program so somebody who would love to get involved and out to lunch in downtown tonight but can't commit but might be able to fill in for some vendors who um, have to go to a different event or are away on vacation or whatever it may be um, we would fill them in we would get their information see what power needs that guest vendor needs what kind of food it is and then hopefully we can plug them in it's not a guarantee it just kind of depends on who's gone and whatever but we we want to give the opportunity to other new food vendors to get involved and test the waters and see what out to lunch in downtown tonight are all about so definitely make sure to get in contact with us our office 543-4238 or check out missoulaDowntown.com under our events page and there's an application there but we're happy to answer any questions but we hope that gives people an opportunity who might be scared of the oh I can't commit to 14 or 13 weeks but they really want to get involved so so if there are any food vendors out there that are interested definitely get in contact with us cool and kind of bringing it back to what we kind of started the interview on um, um, missoulaDowntown.com and you can contact with them they're they're looking for uh, artists and uh, art vendors who want to sell some of their uh, smaller art or the bigger art mm -hmm. at the Roots Festival yeah. get in contact with them missoulaDowntown.com yeah definitely give us a shot we'd love to get uh, 